Hello YouTubers. Got a little how-to video here, a little job. And uh, I think that lens needs cleaned a little bit. Oh wow. We've got a Dell computer here. Uh, I think it's about six years old. But uh, needs service, operating system reinstalled, a whole bunch of things, but I'm gonna uh, show you a good way to clean the dust out of your computer even now. Let's see if we can see here. Even though it looks pretty clean itself. Out. Hit your head, hit the car. It's all good. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to check your fans. And uh, like I said before, these ones are cleaned. This computer's already had the dust blown out of it, but uh, we're going to double check it anyway. There we go. Usually I only thumb tighten these thumb screws, so uh, that's my advice. Makes it easier to get into the case if you have to. Just kind of like that. And you loosen them. Mm. Usually they stay in the case, but these ones apparently uh, back right out. So be careful not to loosen. Then you just grab a hold of this little lid right here and slide. Now, <clears throat> okay, here we go. Once you get yourself a good flashlight, and I apologize for the lighting, but. You want to look inside here, and as I said, it's it's fairly clean. Um, you want to look at your cards, any cards that are installed like this. Uh, maybe you can see it there. If you can see, that card is not completely seated properly, uh, and that is a wireless card, so it was it was not functioning properly. And uh, oh, focus. Here's your RAM modules. You want to make sure they're clean and clear. And while you're in here, it doesn't hurt to look at the uh, look at your capacitors. Hello, there we are. Check these capacitors in here. Every board's different, but you want to look for any signs of bulging or anything like that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with some air now. This computer has three fans, so obviously. One on the power supply, one on the CPU, and one on the back of it, like most Dells do. Uh, my recommendation is to hold on to your flashlight. When you blow the air out of these, there we go. What you want to do, use your finger, or you can use the end of a pencil. Hold the pencil in the fan there so when you're blowing compressed air through it, it doesn't try and rotate this fan. Because it can uh, and will rotate it uh, at speeds faster than it's not designed for. The same goes for this one. And the same goes for this one. You don't want to stick it in too far. You can use the tip and hold it and then blow your compressed air around it. Uh, I'll try and give you a quick demonstration here. As you can see, I've got it in there. I'm just holding it gently, and I'm gonna like that. Because otherwise, if you hit it, you'll see it wants to spin the fan. And I've had it where uh, where it's actually forced a lot of the dirt into the bearings and it's not good. I've had it ruin some fans but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and clean these slots out. Uh, that's the basics of it. Stick your pencil right in right in here enough to to touch the uh, blades of the fan. You don't want to stick it in too far to damage anything. And then just take your air and re 
repeat on the inside and that'll pretty much clean out any dust that's, that's in there. Whoever sent this white, snowy, slushy stuff, please come take it back. I don't want it. I really, really don't want it. But uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.